Somebody just stole my identity, or they tried. I just left this rather drab government building in St. Louis where we got it all sorted out. The people working there are very nice human people, and they told me that there's been an uptick in fraudulent claims associated with pandemic relief services and unemployment claims. But I am making this video for two reasons. One, I literally read an entire book called Automating Inequality by Virginia Eubanks that talks specifically about the apparatus for policing poverty in the United States. Way back when, we would have physical places where poor people live, poor houses, as they were called. And these would be vile places that were dehumanizing conditions and ultimately didn't actually help people get out of poverty. Virginia Eubanks' case is this. As our technology is progressing, we are creating a digital poorhouse. It is just as dehumanizing, but since it isn't concentrated and localized in one place, it's harder to see. I can't fit her whole book into this three minute video. I'll explain more of it if people ask for it in the comments, but I wanted to respond to an idea. Conservatives, and not necessarily like political conservatives, but conservatives in the Fries and Bader, America's Four Gods sense of conservatives, have strong moral intuitions about criminality, that people who do wrong need to be punished. This is why accountability measures for poverty resonate with conservatively morally minded people, because they think that we live in a just world where punishment follows crime. As a bit of an aside, Eubanks' book has a really interesting section about how much money we spend in the process of trying to police fraud. It's a lot of money. Um, it's a good book. It's a good book. I'll, I'll leave a, I'll leave a link in my reading list. But the main reason that I'm making this video is this. I don't have the whole thing memorized, but it's a quote from Dr. King in either Beyond Vietnam or Where Do We Go From Here, where he says, It is not enough to simply fling a coin to a beggar on the road to Jericho. It comes to see that an edifice which produces beggars needs restructuring. Archbishop Desmond Tutu said something similar about how saintly it is to save a drowning man from a river. But if there's too many men drowning in the river, eventually you have to go upstream and figure out who's pushing them in. Put differently, why are we so morally outraged at the idea of petty theft and insurance fraud when we should also instead be outraged at the people who have created the conditions of poverty in the United States in the first place. Wages have not kept up with inflation and student debt is careening out of control. Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, Walmart, and the politicians who enable their exploitative practices are the real thieves. They are the men upstream pushing people in the river. So no, we should not just be going after people living in poverty. We should be going after the poverty profiteers.